905 now, five minutes after nine o'clock, KQRS, one of the nation's most recognizable flair bartenders, president of ExtremeBartending.com, Scott Young. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Now, what, what's the definition of a flair bartender? Well, basically doing things behind the bar with uh, with a little bit of performance. So instead of just making a drink, doing it with style, throwing some bottles, spinning some glasses, that sort of thing. And uh, and what we do it a little bit different is that we really bring in style of personality as well. So we uh, you know have some bar jokes and uh, little bar games and new drink recipes. So it's uh, it's the full package. So uh, Terry, Terry, you had a question about hot drinks. Yeah, what are the new like a couple of the new hot drinks? Cool. Well, the, the new one that I'm telling everybody about it's uh, it's out of actually a company out of uh, out of Minneapolis. It's called Drink and Mate. Uh, and you check oh, it yeah. out at Drink and Mate. Dot, yeah, Drink and Mate. Dot com. They're actually giving free samples, uh, and it's it's really awesome. It's the newest kind of coolest and most interesting thing out there. Uh, it's an effervescent tablet uh, that you drop in drinks, uh, either in water or in different cocktails, uh, like a Red Bull, uh, and it'll actually make it taste better. But it's a hangover defense. They were one of our sponsors. Were they a while ago? Uh, it was XL3. Yeah. It's the same type of product. Yep. Same type of so product. Yeah, and they actually do make the, the drink taste better. It really does. It's uh, it's it's uh, made from guava leaf, and it's uh, a wild berry flavor, and I love it. It's uh, it, it just you know have it have it in a, in a drink before you go to bed at some point. Uh, and again, it goes with what like I really like mixing it with uh, like a vodka and a Mountain Dew or uh, a vodka Red Bull because you know Red Bull for me it's not you know it's not the most palatable thing, but you add a right. little bit of this uh, uh, of the uh, drinking mate, and uh, it tastes really nice because it's it's kind of a it tastes purple. You what else? Purple. What else though? Like for a drink, drink you know where you're just mixing up alcohol. For alcohol, well, there's uh, there's a few. There's if you want like a really good summer drink. Yeah. Um, you guys have all heard of uh, of Arnold Palmer and John Daly, right. the golfers. Uh, well, there's uh, basically there's an, an Arnold Palmer, which is a non-alcoholic drink. It's lemonade and iced tea. That's very good. Uh, and then for John Daly, of course, you got to add vodka. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds delish. Yeah, it is. It's a nice uh, it's a nice summer drink, and uh, you know also and just to hit the drinking mate again, it goes well with that as well. If you want to add another kind of a wild berry flavor, so. So there's that. Um, there's some really good shooters that are uh, that I love to make. One is it's called a killer watermelon, and you can make this as a, as a shooter or as a as a martini. Uh, and it's Southern Comfort melon liqueur and cranberry juice shaken and strained. Yum. It's yummy. Yeah, it's uh, it's the most popular shooter that I that I've ever made because it has it has a blend of uh, you know the Southern Comfort has a little bit of a kick. Um, but with the the cranberry juice and the melon liqueur, it's uh, it's really smooth. So so kind of everybody likes it. Um, so you got enough kick, but they're still really nice tasting. So you know, men and women, and uh, you know, the guys are trying to be tough. They still like that. The nation's most recognizable flair bartender, president of ExtremeBartending.com, Scott Young. Thank you so much for all your time. Great uh, spending all this time with you, sir.